We've been working our way through Argonne National Lab's suite of hydrogen delivery and fueling models. The previous video demonstrated HD-SAM, the Hydrogen Delivery Scenario Analysis Cost Model. This video will demonstrate HR-SAM, the Hydrogen Refueling Station Analysis Model. As in the previous video, I'll demonstrate an overview of the model, and then I'll walk through some scenario examples using the model itself. The hydrogen models feature two that are specifically focused only on the refueling station phase of the hydrogen delivery process. HR-SAM is for analyzing refueling of fuel cell light duty vehicles. The topic of the next video will be the second model, the HDR-SAM model, which is for analyzing refueling of a fleet of fuel cell heavy duty vehicles. These models present near-term and long-term costs for current market stakeholders and can help identify major cost drivers for hydrogen refueling and delivery. The development of all the models in the hydrogen fueling suite has been supported by the Department of Energy's Office of Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy's Fuel Cell Technologies Office since 2005. In HR-SAM, a user first defines their hydrogen refueling market by establishing the refueling station capacity, the hourly fuel demand, and the annual station utilization. Next is selection of the technology used for refueling, and finally, the delivery modes that supply hydrogen to the station. Entering these inputs and running the model produces a levelized fueling cost, a station capital cost, and a cash flow estimation. Before we go into the scenario modeling worksheet, a quick reminder about the cell color coding scheme in GREET models, seen here on the title worksheet. Blue indicates a calculated cell, and the formulas in these cells shouldn't be changed. Peach indicates that an input is required. Green indicates an optional input. Yellow indicates an informational cell. And orange indicates a drop-down menu. On the scenario worksheet is where a user enters input information. The station parameters like type, size, and production volume will define the refueling capacity. And from there, the station technology can be defined as well. Below the selection options are the General Economic Assumptions table, where users can modify economic inputs, and the Annual Station Capacity Utilization table, where users can modify ramp up of utilization over time. For users who want to specify equipment costs, these inputs can be found on the Refueling Station worksheets in the Capital Investment table though I won't be getting that specific in the scenario examples in this video. In the HR-SAM model, I'll begin on the scenario worksheet and specify the input parameters for the first scenario example. I'll select gaseous H2 station as the station type, then tube trailer supply as the hydrogen source. I'll set the dispensing rate at 300 kilograms per day and select 350 bar cascade dispensing as my dispensing option. Finally, I'll set the production volume to low. Then I'll click to calculate model results, fast forwarding in the video to speed up the process. As reported on the scenario worksheet, the total refueling cost is $7.99 per kilogram of fuel. The refueling station capital investment required to meet the fuel demand in this scenario is about two and a half million, and the project will break even after about six years. Next, I'll keep the station type as gaseous H2, but this time I'll select 20 bar H2 supply as the hydrogen source. I'll set the dispensing rate at 500 kilograms per day and select 700 bar cascade dispensing as the dispensing option and I'll set the production volume to mid and click to calculate. This time the total refueling cost is $5.53 per kilogram. The refueling station capital investment required to meet the fuel demand is about $2.8 million, and the project will break even after about 6.3 years. So while the cost per unit of fuel is lower than in the first scenario, 
the refueling station requires a bit more capital and the break-even point is extended as a result. In the last scenario, I'll choose Liquid H2 as the station type. You'll notice there's no selection option for hydrogen source. That's because for Liquid H2, the source has to be liquid hydrogen delivery by cryogenic tanker. I'll move the dispensing rate up to 1,000 kilograms per day and select 700 bar via LH2 pump vaporization as the dispensing option. And I'll set the production volume to high, then calculate. The total refueling cost is now 210 per kilogram. The refueling station capital investment required to meet the fuel demand is about $1.8 million. And the project will again break even after about 6.3 years. The refueling cost in this scenario is significantly lower than in the previous two scenarios. And the capital investment is lower as well. The break-even point is still consistent with the first two scenarios. We've reached the end of this video, but stay tuned for the HDR SAM model video, which we'll post next. Thanks for watching.